Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a screen replacement on a MacBook Pro. Let's turn it around. Take a look at the back of your computer. There's the model number here. It says A1502 and we'll be replacing the LCD screen. It's a full assembly screen that I got. This is not a brand new, it's a used screen and we'll be replacing the full assembly. Not the glass, not the LCD, but the full set of the screen with the top cover and yeah, um, with the webcam and, and whatnot. All right, so the first thing you need to have is to get yourself a Pentelope P5 screwdriver and go ahead and remove all the screws here. We need to remove the back plate in order to get the screen re replaced. If you're not sure where to buy the tools and the screen replacement itself, please check the description link down below. I would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find a replacement screen as well as the tools for this repair. All right, so once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and open up the back cover you can just pop it straight up and that's how you remove it the next step is to go ahead and disconnect the battery the battery connector is located right underneath this cover so open up the plastic cover put it on the side I'm using my two fingernail and lift it straight up and if you find that it's difficult to do you can use a plastic prying tool so what you want to do is just pretty much lift it up <clears throat> having some difficulties here okay you just have to lift it straight up and that's how you disconnect that battery once you have disconnected the battery go ahead and remove the two plastic cover here and disconnect the cable this is the LCD cable it has a little clipper you need to flip open the clipper so flip it up and slide the cable to your right and slide it out and make sure you have it on the side here the next step is to disconnect this cable you just have to pull it away from your body so that direction pull it away from your body okay that's how you disconnect it and disconnect all the Wi-Fi cable you want to pay close attention to the cable first and let's take a look at it the very right does not have any plastic on it the one in the middle has the longest plastic here and the one at the far left has a short little plastic. Lift it straight up, disconnect that Wi-Fi cable. All right, so the next step is get yourself a T4 screwdriver. We are going to remove the tiny little screw here. There is a safety bracket that is holding down the LCD screen. We need to remove that as well. Which is this bracket here. Get yourself a T8 screwdriver, removing the screws at that hinge. So these three screws here are holding down the hinge. So there are six screws in total. Go ahead and remove all of them. All right. 
right once you have removed all the screws now the next step is to go ahead and open up the lcd screen just push it all the way to the back at 90 degree angle and that's how you can see that the hinge will just pop right out as well as the other one here all right we just removed the entire lcd screen put the screen on the side and this is the replacement screen okay so the first thing you need to do is to make sure the hinge is pushed all the way to the back and make sure the two cables on the side is going to go above the laptop all right so go ahead and slide it in same thing on the other side make sure the cable is on top of the laptop and go ahead and slide it in as well now you can see that the hinge is in what I like to do here at this point is to put one of the screw here holding down the hinge so that I can close the screen and continue with the repair Alright, once you have do that, go ahead and close the screen down. Now finish up the rest of the screws. Remember the two little pieces, it's very important. We got to install that back together. Okay, once you have done with the process, let's go ahead and reconnect this, uh, the cable. Make sure that the clipper is open and facing up. Now you want to slide the cable back to your left. So make sure you align them in a position first. Once you have it in the position, go slide it back in. Use the plastic tool to help you to push it all the way in. Once it's all the way in, push the clipper down to secure and fasten that, that cable. Now the next step is to reconnect this cable back here. So just go ahead and push it back down towards your body and have the rubber in a position. And do not forget the Wi-Fi antenna. The very short plastic goes to the left. They are just like Lego. Make sure you have them aligned in a position. When you push it down, it will just clip back together. You don't have to force it in. Um, try not to bend the connector. You just have to uh, be patient. Find the connector aligned properly onto the Wi-Fi and push it down. All right, once you have done that process, it's pretty much that's it. Have this plastic go back onto the hinge, cover the screw up, Reconnect the battery back in, have the plastic cover, close it back up, and the back plate back on top. And with all the screws in, 
and you should be all set all right that should be it it's a very simple process um, i hope that this video is helpful to you and if you find the video is helpful please go ahead and click the like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe i hope that this video helps and able to uh, share with you and show you how to do the screen replacement and um, again if you're not sure where to buy the replacement parts like the lcd screen as well as the tools for this repair please check the link in uh, down in the description below um, then uh, then yeah then you can follow along the video and get yourself um, repair your macbook pro all right thanks for watching until next time bye now